Hello, my name is Jason Seitz, Applications Engineer at Texas Instruments. Today I'm going to go over the setup of the LMP91200 pH sensor AFE evaluation board. Let's begin by downloading the software. From TI.com, simply go to TI.com slash sensor AFE. Scroll down to the design resource section and click on the hardware and software development system link. From there, navigate down to the LMP91200 folder. Under the software section, click the software download link. We'll save to the desktop. Locate the installer zip file on your desktop. Double click. Let's also extract to the desktop. After extracting the installer zip file, locate the installation executable file on your desktop and double click. Follow the setup wizard, accepting the defaults. Create a desktop icon. Notice where the files will be saved to and click install. Click finish and the installation is complete. Notice how now on your desktop you have an LMP91200 software icon. You could run the software now without the evaluation hardware and when you get an error pop-up click ignore and you can utilize the software without the evaluation board. But since we have the evaluation board handy Let's go ahead and connect that before running the software. Let's assemble the hardware. If you purchase the entire LMP91200 evaluation platform, you'll have three boxes. You'll have the LMP91200 evaluation board, you'll have the SPIO4 board, and you'll have the pH sensor and RTD kit. Starting with the LMP91200 evaluation board. There's the board. You want to ensure your jumper settings are set up so they can interface with the SPIO4 capture board. So you want JP1, 1, 2 shorted. You want JP2. 1, 3 shorted, JP3, 1, 2 shorted. You want the pins of JP4 shorted, JP5 shorted, 
watch JP6 is 1, 3 shorted. And JP7 will be 2, 3 shorted. Grabbing the spy off four board. It comes with a spy off forward and USB cable. Connect as such. USB. Finally, the PH kit. Comes with RTD and pH sensor. pH sensor will be connected to the B and C on the LMP ninety one two hundred board. have a cap on the pH sensor which basically contains a solution so the actual pH sensor won't degrade over time. We're going to rinse that solution with distilled water and then put the pH probe into a known test solution which has a pH of 10. Let's connect the RTD. The top left corner of your board you'll have an RTD in mount. RTD is just a resistor so the polarity doesn't matter. Grab a small flathead screwdriver and connect it as such. Make sure it's secure. You can also stick your RTD into the solution. So the final step now is to connect your USB into your PC. If you're doing this for the first time, if you're connecting your SPIO 4 to your PC for the first time, your PC will detect new hardware and you'll have to install drivers for the SPIO 4 board. Once you connect the USB from the SPIO 4 board, if it's the first time you connected this particular SPIO 4 board to your PC, you'll notice the found new hardware pop-up and the new hardware wizard will show up. You're going to want to select the advanced option, install from a list of specific location, click next. You're going to want to browse to your desktop. And this is where the NSC USB driver folder is. Click OK. Click Next. and let the wizard search for the drivers for the SPIO 4 board.
Click Next again. Browse to your desktop. Find the Win USB coinstaller2.dll, open, click OK. And click Finish. New hardware is ready to use. Now you're able to start the software. Go to the LMP91200 icon, double click. Board will initiate. Now you're at the Sensor AFE software virtual device panel. Each one of these colored blocks are configurable. For example, you could go into this block, change from a pH measurement to a temperature measurement, you could change the current source value over these four settings, you could change the gain of the PGA. You could also See the entire register map by clicking on the register map button. Let's close this. On the left is the help bar, which will give you a step-by-step -step help instructions. You begin by selecting a sensor, double-clicking on pH, and you'll see a list of pH sensors. Let's click the first one. This is advice or suggestions on how to set up the jumpers. Because the pH sensor which came with the kit is actually 100 ohms, you'll need to adjust from PT 1000 to PT100 in order to get accurate results. Go to the measurement tab to take a measurement. You can either do a temperature measurement, a pH measurement, a sensor diagnostic, or free data acquisition. Please refer to the LMP91200 data sheet for further details on each of these modes. Let's go and start with the temperature measurement. Ensure that the output format is in temperature. The run condition is one second, and click the run button. The one step temperature measurement is the least accurate. Two step and three step increase the accuracy. Again, refer to the data sheet for further details. Clicking run again, you'll achieve a more accurate temperature, about 23 degrees Celsius. This is the peak-to-peak -peak noise, and here is the RMS noise. Going to the pH measurement, if you recall, we put the pH sensor in a test solution of pH 10. We 
we could either manually input the expected temperature of the solution, or we could use the measured temperature given to by the RTD. Clicking run again. You see the pH value is 10. Blank space here is the device actually taking the temperature measurement in parallel. Going back to the virtual device, besides the measured system performance, you also have estimated device performance. Supply current and noise measurements are taken from actual tester and bench data based on the conditions that the user inputs on these fields. You also have the option of saving the configuration, loading a configuration. For example, if you're using WebBench Sensor Designer online tool, you could load a configuration from online. And there's also documentation, including the LMP91200 datasheet, SPIO4 user guide, and the evaluation board user guide. That will conclude our demonstration of the setup of the LMP91200 evaluation board. Signing off. This is Jason Seitz. Take care.